Leisha? Hi, Sam. Hi, Leisha. Um, I, I know you, you must know that, uh, I mean, I, I'm speaking for a lot of people, but we are so sorry for your loss and um, uh, appreciate your coming on. And um, uh, he will be missed. Yeah. I, um, I just felt very clear about coming on because I actually <sighs> spoke with Michael for about an hour, an hour and a half on Sunday night. He was totally fine. Um, I'm wearing the prayer beads he was wearing when we last spoke on FaceTime. And <sighs> the, the first thing I want to say, um, I know there's some speculation. He got a blood clot in his throat. It was very sudden. We don't know what caused it. They don't think it was COVID related. Nothing weird happened. There was no suicide. It was just a horrible, unexpected, terrible thing. Um, his, his presence and who he is and what he stood for and what he was working towards. No one person will ever be able to be my brother because no one else doesn't read and the first fucking book they read is Malcolm X's autobiography. There's there's no other person in the world that that is Michael or has his brain. But <clears throat> there are so many of us around the world. People have been sending me messages and I think together we will be able to continue his work. And I really believe that. I'm I'm not just saying that because that feels like a nice thing to say. I truly believe it. Um <sighs> I wanted to also say a couple of things. Um, when I, I can, um, Michael was like my biggest champion. I can hear him telling me he loves me and I'm doing a good job. On Sunday night when we spoke, we, we spoke almost daily. Michael and I were very close. And He's just been really talking about a couple of things, like his work had been evolving. I don't know if, if those around you who closely follow his work, but he was getting so clear on just like, he just was so over cancel culture. I'm going to pull up my notes because this was like the stuff that we just talked about daily, that he was just like so done with. And he just, he was getting so clear on like how things had to move forward and what had to happen to like actually unify people. Okay, I'm going to read from what I jotted down. Michael was so done with identity politics and cancel culture. He was showing so clearly that we had to build a world where people can listen to one another through all of their differences without shutting down or turning to violence. That together we need not to define who we are, that we're all in this together, which did not mean that we give up for the fight for peace and justice or treat people with integrity and respect, just that we fight that fight more skillfully. Um, Michael just was so Michael and I grew up really poor. Like we, we were on food stamps in Section 8 and we had a lot of shame around that and we both hit it in different ways. And Michael never thought like, oh, how do I get out of this for myself? How do I escape this? Michael thought, how, how do I help everyone? And I think now he's just seeing like new people becoming vilified in our culture. And, and like, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people who watch Sam's show, they know this, but it just, it really hurt his soul. It was like eating at him. And he, he also said something so funny. He said this to our advisor. That I'm, I'm skipping ahead a bit, but part of what he was rapping a lot about was he really thought spirituality was something devoid on the left. And he said the other night, why allow Steve ba Bannon to have a monopoly on the Bhagavad Gita? Which I think is just so Michael. But um, he just, he thought that there, there was like a disconnect and we need to start really integrating spirituality into our politics and, and like not to be obsessed with being, you know, atheists. And lastly, and I hope, I hope everyone's able to follow me. It's obviously I'm, I'm in a very serious state of shock. Um, he, the other thing he was getting so clear about is he just was like, no one should be hungry. Like he was just, he, that was just, no one should be hungry. I mean, we experienced what it was like to have food, you know, instability. And, you know, he, that's, he, just, he just really wanted to focus on just integrity and, and just basic needs for people and all the other noise and diversification of a ruling class or whatever everyone's obsessed with and the virtue signaling. He was just like, it's, it's just going to be co-opted by, by capitalism and used against other people other people and, and you know vilify 
people and then make it easier to extract labor from them. And he was, he, I mean, I, 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 whatever, you guys talk about all this stuff. It's not, you know, we know, I, I just, I just feel so like Michael had to be so careful about what he said in regards to the cancel culture and all that, because it was like so taboo. And you know what? He's fucking dead now, and it stressed him out. He thought it was toxic, and all the people that are obsessed with that, it is toxic. And I'm glad that I can just say that and, like, stand with him, and no one can, like, take him down for, like, being, you know, misconstruing that now. And I, I think my brother's in a good place. The last thing I'm going to share is on Sunday night, he was working with um, the coach and, and um, mentor that we work with, and... He, he closed his eyes and did a visualization, visualization with her. And here are some of the things he told her that, that he saw. He closed his eyes. He said, I'm feeling spaciousness inside me, like outer space or the ocean. He said, all my anxiety, it's over. I'm starting to love writing, and I really want to keep it because it feel, I really want to keep going because it feels great. I think from now on, I feel free of anxiety. I will write or do push-ups. <laughs> I haven't actually read these. <laughs> Hopefully it's not something terribly embarrassing. I like how I were like weighted push-ups. Um, and then he said, I would like to work in the coming weeks on the mechanics of what it means to continue separating myself from the stuff that separates me from me. I want to remember the inner. I think we all really need to fucking work on that. Whatever separating us from us, because that's what's disconnecting us. And it, it's so bad right now. We just, we need to, we, this fever pitch we're at, it, it just has to end. <sighs> That's what I've got, Sam. Well, um, I mean, I, uh, thank you for, for sharing that with us. Uh, it's, um, I know how much uh, Michael uh, worked uh, on behalf of you and his family. Um, and you guys were always um, foremost in his mind, and he was a big fan of yours. And he expressed that often. So I know he told me he told me how proud he was of me and how much he loved me almost every day. Yeah, he was. Uh, he would, uh, <laughs> would often, uh, you know, brag about uh, your. Uh, <laughs> things you were doing sketch work and, and um uh and i i you know our hearts go out to you and and your folks um and uh you know he he, he will be uh horribly missed there is a, a yeah. huge hole in uh, a lot of people's lives who he never met and I know. Uh, it's uh and i think you know where where we it's impossible to know what he would have done because it was like i say just a um i think he was just getting started and it's it's amazing to to contemplate what he was able to achieve uh, at this point in his life but it's also um uh, amazing to contemplate what he could have uh done yeah. uh with more time but um that's where I feel like the responsibility is on all of us. And I don't know if I said this already, but I intend to create a foundation to continue his work. I would like to continue his show. I know a lot of incredible people are going to step up and help me keep that going. But it's, it's not over because he was just starting. He, he, had, like, he has plans for a next book. Like we, we have so much. He gave us so much to continue paving the road. Well, uh, obviously, any uh, help you need with that. Um, uh, we're here for you and there are, I think, uh, literally uh, thousands of other people who are as well. And, um, you know, we will obviously uh, let folks know about that foundation. Uh, a lot of people have already contacted and wanting to know um, uh, what they can do in, in, in that regard. And so, um, you know, in, in, in a bunch of different ways, his work is going to live on, and um, it's out there. He has brought a lot of um, insight. I, I will, you know, figure out a way to share with you literally the, the hundreds of emails I'm looking at talking about how important he was to uh, people's lives uh, and changing their perspective on things. And he would um, often... Um, 
try and get me to uh, be a little more spiritual and uh, emotional. And uh, he never really got there uh, with me as much, but he tried. Uh, and um, it was, uh, it, it, I, I'm going to miss him very, very much. Yeah, we all are. Um, uh, so, uh, Alicia, if there's anything else you want to say, um, uh, please do. We've got, you know, obviously uh, a lot of folks are going to come on and talk about him. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, um, I, I, please send your regards uh, to I your will. entire family. I think we're going to try and organize the moment of silence or something that everyone can participate in. Um, in, in memory, and then um, I think we're also going to do a Michael Brooks memorial show with, with a bunch of folks as well. So Great. We'll keep you All posted. Right. Thank you All for right, making great. space, Sam. All right, Alicia, thank you so much. Um, uh, uh, I just I, There are no words. It's okay. 